So it's 1994, Operation Uphold Democracy. If you're in the 82nd Airborne Division, then you have the biggest blue balls in the history of infantry operations. Uh, well, unless you were in 175 or 275 and you didn't get to make the jump that 375 made early on in the GWAT. Everybody was jealous of that. So you're in the 82nd Airborne Division. You train up. You know what's going on. You get on C-130s, and you're about to jump into Haiti. Except two hours out, they can't get. You're likely, at that time, probably mid-air rigging. Jump masters are getting all excited. They're getting everybody potentially rigged up. And then they get the call that the entire thing is scrubbed. Because at the time, using diplomacy, you know, that foreign policy tool you got in your hip pocket if you're a politician, to basically end all the conflict. But since 1994, Haiti has been in ups and downs of constant conflict. Constant conflict. If you remember a few years ago, the 43rd president of Haiti was assassinated. 26 Colombians were arrested, of which they found at least a quarter of them had trained both in Colombia and the United States, go figure, in counterterrorism operations of some kind. So here we are today, where in the next 24 to 48 hours, migrants from Haiti will likely be arriving to the coast of Florida. Why? Because the entire country is burning to the ground. We've already deployed a FAST element, which is a specialized Marine Corps element, whose entire job, pre- and post-Benghazi, is to secure the nemesis and make sure they handle non-combatant evacuation of civilian and military and government personnel. All of that to be said, here's what's interesting. Right now, the DHS just released a press release this morning saying, if anybody comes off of a boat and sets foot ground in the United States, they will immediately be repatriated. What does that mean? They'll be sent back to their own country. You know the one that's burning to the ground? Yeah, that one. Because 4,000 gang members have rose up against the government, completely destroyed the sovereignty, and have murdered, raped, pillaged, and burned people alive. They've actually broken out many of the prisons to get their buddies back, because that's what you do when you're a bad guy. You help other bad guys. So why is this an issue for America? So one, it's an issue politically. Because if you're a Haitian who crossed the Mexican border through Mexico, you're good. In fact, if you're of any country, including a member of the CCP, you could come across the border and be completely immune. No repatriation there. But if you're a Haitian who's literally escaping conflict, rape, murder, then you're going to be turned around. And how's that going to work out for you? Not very well. So who's picking up the tab? We're picking up the tab. The state has just deployed 300 police officers and National Guard troops to help lock down the state. And I get it. They want to lock it down. But I'm also torn on this one because I'm like, well, this is the one that you kind of want to support because Dominican Republic next door isn't doing anything. And we've decided we're going to give them $330 million like we give everybody, except there's no sovereign nation. Where's that money going? I mean, do you ever think you're going to find out where all the money went in Ukraine? Likely not. But we're going to give them $330 million. Their neighbor, the Dominican Republic, isn't going to help them. And then we're going to turn off all ability for people to come to the country and escape and actually seek asylum for something legit. Now, I say that, and I, I believe in the values of this country. I want to protect our country and follow the law and order, but... That whole seek asylum thing was supposed to be for things like this. Not for the millions. Stats read anywhere between 8 and 15 million illegals that have crossed across our border seeking asylum, caught, then released because of that. Here's a court date, see in seven years. And they were seeking asylum as well because they were in China, in Africa, 
in Syria. And it's like, hey, welcome to America. But not if you're on a boat, actually, with a burning country behind you. I also don't want to see us get further invested in more foreign conflict. But this isn't Afghanistan. This isn't Ukraine. This isn't Israel. This is a boat float away. And so if we don't help facilitate these issues and come up with some solutions, and there's plenty of Americans who have been trying, from nonprofits, from people that I know, to government organizations who have been doing a lot in that region. The reality is that country has been horrible in so many ways because the amount of crime, lack of security, and all the elements that Haiti has to deal with. I mean, their president was assassinated when he was drug out of his home. So here we are again. And this is going to be a political junction for Biden because he has to take a hard line stance. If he doesn't, he looks weak on immigration, both in no border, as well as allowing anybody who can get into the country, get into the country, especially with a Republican governor, DeSantis, who would annihilate him, eviscerate him. And what do you think DeSantis is going to do when those boatloads of Haitians arrive? He's going to put them in buses and drive them up the Highway 95 corridor and drop them off in a sanctuary city, as he should, as he should. Significantly, we're in a volatile time where these things matter, especially when it comes to the sovereignty and security of our own nation. This illegal migrant issue, which is what it is, it's not undocumented, it's illegal because it's against the law. When you show up in this country and then you decide to commit a crime, let's say the crime is DUI, you're caught, you're not punished, and you're likely released because radical DAs don't want to deal with you. Because most states, including Utah, I found out this morning, um, don't want to talk to federal agencies that specialize in immigration called ICE. They don't want to deal with them. So nothing's done. That's why you have illegal migrants who are here that used to belong to gangs in Venezuela and name the country, and they are raping and even killing people and getting away with it and getting away with it. Why is this not top of mind? Because nobody cares. Because the national and corporate media don't want to report on it because it affects the potential outcome of the election. And the administration doesn't want to talk about it because it affects their chances of winning in that election. Because the more that come across the border, they're able to say, look what we did for you. You know who to vote for next. And I guess that strategy works. It, it worked last election cycle. Where did we go from here? Well, here's what I know is going to happen. We're going to have more boots on the ground because they just launched the U.S. Marine Corps' fast elements. These elements I work with in Libya, where to weigh Marines that specialize in all things, including crisis, contingency response, hostage rescue, CQB, the list goes on. They're going to evacuate as many Americans as possible. But there is the potential, especially in this scenario, where you have 4,000 armed gang members. Why do we not think that's going to be a potential conflict, especially when it comes to U.S. intervention and potentially an American being killed. And I'm not looking forward to this thing unfolding because, again, we've already committed $330 million. We're getting more invested. And here we go. Another front. We have another campaign. More conflict, less foreign policy, less diplomacy, and more paying for conflict and policing other people's countries when we can't even police our own. Guys, I'm headed off to the underground to tell you how I really feel. That's patreon.com forward slash Mike Glover. I appreciate you guys. Also, I want to say big shout out to everybody who supports Wolf 21. If you're somebody who believes in health and wellness and sleep, I found my path. And so much so, I started my own company in CBD and CBN. You guys can find that at thewolf21.com. I'll link it down below. But you guys can use Glover20 to save 20% on checkout because I appreciate you guys subscribing, hitting that notification tab, and telling your friends about it. Off to the underground. Till next time. Peace out, guys.